Brevo Automation Tutorial. In this video, we're going to be talking about Brevo and how you can use the software for great and seamless automation. Now, if you are in a business out there and you want to gain a lot of an audience or you want to gain some leads and get good generation, then Brevo is a good software for you. Formerly, it was called Send in Blue. And what Brevo gives you is a proper CRM suite. And in that CRM suite, we have automation. Now, automation is one of the most important aspects of a CRM. Now, the reason for that is because automation allows you to carry out basic small tasks in the background that you don't need to do in the front end. OK, so we're going to be going through it all. In this video, I'm going to be signing us up with Brevo, and then we're going to be going straight ahead into the automation. So to start things off, what we're going to do is we're going to go up to Brevo.com and we're going to click on sign up for free. Now, once you go ahead to sign up for free over here, we're going to add an email and password. So I'm going to be using a temp mail in my case, but you can simply go ahead and use any email that you have. It does not matter. So once we go ahead with an email and password, we're going to click on create an account. Once we click on create an account, it's going to bring us here where it says you should verify your email address. So I'm going to come over to my mailbox and we're going to wait for the email from Brevo. It shouldn't take too long. And as soon as it reaches your mailbox from there, what you're going to want to do is you are going to go to the link that they give you to verify everything. And once everything is done, you are going to get straight into Brevo's amazing software and automation. So let me verify my account and we're going to get straight into it. Now, once you go through with the verification and everything, you are going to come to a dashboard like this. So this is Brevo's main dashboard. And over here, you can see that it gives you all the analytics of how you're supposed to be working on this. Now, we are going to go over to automations. OK, this is where we're going to do our tasks. So once you go over to automations, basically what you're going to do over here is you're going to click on create an automation. OK, this is where you can create automations from scratch. Now, first of all, it gives you a lot of templates to work with. So abandoned card automation, product purchase, welcome message, anniversary date, marketing activity. But if you want to make it totally from scratch, you can just click over here and click on use the classic editor. And that is what we're going to do. So name of your automation. Let's just call it test for now because it's a test automation. And once we do this, we're going to click on create automation. Now, once the automation is fully done and created, it's going to bring us straight into the editor. Now, in the editor, what we are going to be doing is, first of all, we're going to add an entry point for our automation. So we have email activity, contact details, contact submits a form, an event happens. So I'm going to go with an event happens. Now, what can the event be? It could be any random event. OK, so let's say I want to go with um, email. OK, and now we're going to click on OK. So let's say someone sends an email. You can add multiple entry points, too, by the way. So let's say contact details. Let's go with contact is added to the list and I'm going to click on OK. So now we have two widgets. So when one of these two happens, then you are going to add a step to your workflow. So let's add a step like send an email. OK, so you are going to go ahead and select an email template for yourself. We shouldn't take a lot of time. So in select an email template, you can go ahead and refresh your list as well. It could be any email template. And if you want to create a new email template, simply click on this button over here. Now, once you've gone through with all of that and you've added a proper step for yourself, what you are going to do is you're pretty much going to go ahead and add more things if you want to. It all depends on you, by the way, like you can add more and more steps to your automation. And once you're done with all of that, you're going to finally add basic exit conditions. So once the exit condition is added, you're going to click on activate automation. And what this will do is it will start the automation. And now your automation is pretty much set to go. So this is how you can start an automation totally from scratch. Pretty easy and pretty simple, right? Now you can also mess with the different demographics. OK, so let's say if someone actually used the automation or someone triggered the automation, you can check it out by clicking on see stats. Now, once we click on see stats, it's going to open this up and you can actually see what automation and how it has been used. OK, 
So it's pretty simple and you can also keep a time frame of when it was used, how it was used, etc. So once we've talked about the stock creation, let's back out of this and let's talk about the templates. All right. So we're going to stay in automations. And once we stay in automations, we're going to click on create an automation. Now, once you click on create an automation here, you get templates. So these are the most popular templates. But if you go on all, you can see all of them. So first of all, we have abandoned cart. Now, abandoned cart is a huge winner when it comes to e-commerce stores. And the reason for that is because a lot of people abandon their carts and that just stays in your database. So this automation basically allows you to email the person who abandoned their cart. OK, so let's say I want to use this template. I'm going to click on it. And once we click on it, we're going to click on use this automation. So once we click on use this automation, it actually shows us the whole automation over here. OK, so we're going to choose the events, abandon cart, add a delay. Let's say contact will wait for two hours. OK, or you can choose one hour. Then it says abandon cart, send an email. So it basically has a default email. You can either send that or create a very own new email template for yourself. Now, once you choose that, you're playing, you're going to click on next. Then you have the event happening on abandoned cart. So let's say order completed. OK, this event happens and abandoned cart is done. But if order isn't completed, this is the if or else situation. The cart will be deleted. OK, and once the cart is deleted, it gets updated to be empty. And we're going to click on finish. Now, this basically creates a whole workflow timeline of the automation. And once this automation is fully set it up and done, what you're going to do is you're again going to click on activate automation and this sets you to go. So basically, this is the main idea on how we're going to activate automations on Brevo as a whole project management and CRM suite. Pretty easy and pretty simple, right? Now, moving on, basically automations work really well with other things. Obviously, as you saw that it asked us to create a lot of email templates. So if you want to create email templates in the background for yourself beforehand, you're going to go on campaigns. And once we come to campaigns over here, we're going to choose email. And once you choose email, you're going to create new email campaigns for yourself. Okay. So to create a new email campaign, simply click on create an email campaign. It could either be a regular or a B tested. I'm going to go with a regular and call it test. And we're going to click on create campaign. Now, again, we get two features. You can either create it totally from scratch or you can start designing through a template. So you're going to basically create an email template just like this by adding a sender, recipient, subject design. And once you've created the template, you can use it around in your automations and in different transactional features that Brevo provides you. So, yeah, that's basically the main idea of Brevo and how we're going to be using it for ourselves. Now, if you found this video helpful, do let me know down in the comments below. And if you want to ask me anything regarding Brevo or automations, let me know that as well. And I'll answer you as soon as possible. But yeah, till then, that is most of the things that this video consists of. If you enjoyed, please do make sure to drop down a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, let me know down in the comments below and I'll be making a whole lot more for you. Till then, that is all from me and I'll be seeing all of you in the very next video. Have a great day. Goodbye.